Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I'm gonna walk you through the process of setting up your very own Shopify store from start to finish. So whether you're a complete beginner to Shopify or just looking to improve your existing store, this guide's for you. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to have a fully functioning Shopify store ready to start selling your products. Also, if at any point you'd like to give Shopify a try, I have a special link down in the description below that'll give you a three day free trial and then a dollar a month for the first three months. Now, as you may know, Shopify is one of the most popular e-commerce platforms out there and for a very good reason. It's actually very easy to use. It's versatile and has all the tools you need to create a professional looking online store. So to get started, click the link down in the description and click start free trial button. And once you've done that, you'll be taken to the next steps where you'll need to fill out some basic information about your store. Next up, you're gonna need to select the Shopify plan that's right for you. Shopify offers three different plans to choose from, each with different features and pricing. And once you've chosen your plan, you'll need to set up your payment options. Now, Shopify does accept all major credit cards as well as PayPal, so you can choose the payment method that works best for you. With your payment options set up, you're now ready to start building your Shopify store. This is just the first step, but it's an important one. So take your time and make sure that you've got everything set up the way you want it. Okay, now that your Shopify account is set up, it's time to start designing your Shopify website. And trust me, this is the fun part. The first thing you'll want to do is choose a Shopify theme. Shopify has a wide variety of themes to choose from. So take your time and find one that matches the look and feel that you want for your online store. Once you've chosen your theme, it's time to customize it to match your brand. This is where you can add your logo, change the colors, and make other design tweaks to make your store unique. And of course, the most important part of any online store is the products. So it's time to start adding your products to your store. You can add products one by one or in bulk using a CSV file, but just make sure to fill in all the necessary details like the product name, description, and price. And Shopify also allows you to create collections, which are groups of related products. This is a great way to organize your products and make it easy for your customers to find what they're looking for. With your theme customized and your products added, your Shopify store is starting to take shape. Now that your Shopify store is designed and your products have been added, it's time to start managing your store. This includes filling in all the necessary information, setting up shipping and tax rates, and setting up your payment options. First up, you wanna fill in all the store details and settings. This includes your store name, your address, contact information, and more. Make sure this information is accurate as it will be displayed on your store's website. Next up, it's time to set up your shipping and tax rates. This will determine how much your customers will be charged for shipping and taxes when they make a purchase. You can set up different rates for different countries and regions, so take the time to set this up correctly. Finally, it's important to set up your payment options. Shopify integrates with many popular payment gateways, including PayPal, Stripe, and many more. Choose the payment gateway that works best for you and set it up in your Shopify account. With your store details filled in, shipping and tax rates set up, and payment options configured, your Shopify store is now ready to start accepting orders. But of course, customers won't just come by themselves and buy your products after you create the store. You'll need to start marketing to reach your customers. The first thing you'll want to do is set up Google Analytics for your store. This will help you track your website traffic, see where your customers are coming from, and understand how they're interacting with your store. Next, you can start promoting your store on social media. So create social media accounts for your store and start sharing your products and promotions with your followers. You can also use social media advertising to reach new customers and drive more traffic to your store. Shopify also has a built-in email marketing tool, so take advantage of that and start building your email list. You can send out newsletters, promotional emails, and other types of email campaigns to keep your customers engaged and informed. And finally, don't forget about search engine optimization or SEO. Make sure your store's website is optimized for search engines so that when people search for products like yours, your store will appear at the top of the search results. And so by following these marketing tips, you'll be well on your way to reaching more customers and growing your Shopify store. So that's a wrap. We've covered all that's needed for you to start your own Shopify website. From setting up your Shopify account to designing your store to managing and marketing it, you now have the basic knowledge that you need to get started with a Shopify store. And with Shopify's user-friendly interface and wide range of features, you'll definitely be able to create a professional looking website in no time. Remember, the key to success with any online store is to keep learning and experimenting and stay consistent.
try out new marketing strategies, add new products, and always be on the lookout for ways to improve your store. And again, if you'd like to give Shopify a try, you'll find the link down in the description for a three-day free trial and a dollar per month for three months with the link in the description down below. So hopefully you found this guide helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I really appreciate that. And if you have any comments or questions, share those below and I'll try my best to respond to them. And finally, if you subscribe to the channel, welcome. We've got lots more videos coming your way. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.